Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY pressurized and solar heated shower, like the road showers, but less expensive. So let's jump right into it. All right, so I didn't take as much time really telling you guys about the parts itself. So this is a four inch PVC with two caps. So one cap clearly on this end, this is a pressure release valve that was purchased on Amazon. And then these here are hose clamps, so there are two on each. The one thing I wish we could have done was gotten one more awning bracket for the middle because it has started to sag just a little bit. So again, two hose clamps here on this side. And then on this end here is the other cap. On this cap, in the video you'll see, there is this to pressurize it. It's just like a little bicycle um, valve, valve stem. And then here is the um, like hose piece that the water will just come right out of. And then this is a, just a T uh, PVC pipe fitting. So just a T on the top of the T, here is the uh, cap. So this cap we have now tied down onto it. So if it does come undone at any time, I'm not gonna lose it and I do have an extra too. So there's that. And so where I mentioned a leak, if you see this right here, this is basically where the leak started to come in this seam. For some reason, we can't figure out why we glued everything, but nevertheless, we got the leak. It's fine. What we got was the JB Weld plastic putty. Um, so just ended up, you follow the directions on that and it was fine. Um, we had sanded this down really, really nicely so that that was still um, back to like it's bare white so that the JB Weld would stick really well and then repainted it. So there's all the parts for that. So first you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you prime all the pieces that you will be gluing. This primer is key to keep everything dry and clean so that the glue adheres and your pipes don't have any leaks at any of the connection points. I did have a leak, but I can talk about that later. So we're just getting everything together. You have to make sure that once you put the PVC glue on there, that you are ready to push the parts together or else you will have faulties with it. So we're just getting one end done at this point. This is gonna be the end that we have the valve to pressurize it and also the end hose cap to let the water come out and in. So here you see where it's just about all finished towards the end. Now we just have to make the end cap. Make sure you don't drill the hole too big for this piece to fit through, but if it does, no fear, you can end up putting some sealer on it because we did it. Damn it. Too much. <laughs> Too much, as you see. <laughs> um, but there's fittings that come with it, so you're just gonna put these necessary fittings on. We got this piece from Amazon, and then we'll end up putting some silicone sealer on the inside around it. So now we're going to put the bottom part on that uh, is going to be where the water comes out at, that hose nozzle. So just making the necessary marks and measurements in this cap and drilling out the hole for it. So right here we're just testing it to make sure that the fit is snug, which it is. And while my dad is going to get some Teflon tape. I'm just starting to sand and prep the pipe for the paint later on. Making sure to sand everything down really good is going to make sure that the paint adheres well to the PVC pipe and you'll have less chipping. And 
Now my dad has an awesome little trick here to heat up the PVC, that end cap, and then once it's heated up, you're going to screw that back into the pipe. What this is gonna do is basically mold threads into your PVC pipe, just so that the fit is even more snug and tight. We will be using Teflon tape and some glue, but still, just to take every precaution. So here you'll see he is putting on a little bit of pipe glue. So here once this gets in focus, you can see what brand and everything. So pipe thread sealant is what that is. And then using some Teflon tape to go around the glue. And even a little bit more of that glue to go around the Teflon tape. You can't be too sure. So once all that is on, you can then put the hose nozzle back in and tighten this down. We made sure that everything is nice and lined up so that when it goes on straight, the nozzle will be facing down. And then we're going to go ahead and put some silicone sealer on there. Making sure that this gets around the edges nice and thick so we can smooth that out and have a nice tight seal with no leaking. We'll be doing that to every single fitting that we put on both end caps. As you can see here, the silicone sealer is all on the back and everything is ready to go. So I just wanted to say one of my favorite things about working with my dad on projects is the quality time spent. We get to joke around and laugh and just be silly and I get to learn a lot from him. So we've got this nice end cap on now, glued, tightened. Here is what this end will look like. The red cap is what you will take off to fill the water in. Then there's a little piece to pressurize it and where the hose will attach down at the base. So we're going to cut this pipe to whatever length I want. This is what you'll do. Just cut it to whatever length you are going to want on your vehicle. And before we paint, I'm making sure to prep everything, putting cotton or towel in the top so that paint doesn't get on the inside to mess up any ceiling and taping off all of those end pieces. And I like the Plasti Dip look. Um, everyone's different. You could use flat black, you can use shiny, you can use whatever paint you want. But no, with Plasti Dip, you must apply a very light coat of paint at a time. That's the biggest pain about it. If you don't want it to just peel off in big strips, you have to take your time in painting this. Really thin coats over a long period of time. By the way, if you want to see a video on my dad's new van build, please comment that below and we'll get a video made. So this project did take us two days making sure that everything was dry and ready to mount, uh, as well as making sure that the glue was completely dry before putting water in it and testing it. And the last piece that we had to wait on coming in the mail was the pressure release valve, which was this one here. So we didn't get a video of installing it, but it's done the same way as the others, drilling a hole, fitting it through, and sealing it. And now we're getting the primer on and the glue and then mounting it onto the PVC pipe. So now that everything is dry and done, we're going to mount the now solar shower up onto my truck. Uh, so we're using these awning mounts that work best with some hose clamps to get this on nice and tight. And a trick my dad told me is that you never want to tighten these too tight or it's going to strip the thread. So here is the finished product. If you guys have any questions about anything done or any parts bought, please message me in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up if you liked this video. Keep spreading love.